Hi there, Tim from Madrona Labs. Today we are going to continue our Kaivo video series and focus on the noise module. The noise module produces uncertain signals or pseudo random thrashiness that synthesis have come to lovingly call noise. When we're talking about noise in synthesis, we're referring to a signal that contains frequencies from 20 to 20,000 hertz, which is the range of human hearing. And depending on what color, white, pink, um, they have different properties. So with white noise, every single frequency within the range of 20 to 20,000 hertz is of equal amplitude. But with pink noise, rather than all frequencies being of equal amplitude, every frequency within a particular octave is at equal amplitude. There are many colors of noise, but that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about the Kaibo noise module. So at the top of the video, I mentioned that the noise module produces uncertain or pseudo random signals. Now what that uncertainty or pseudo randomness is, is actually what the value of the output is every time that it sends information. And as you probably guessed, the rate that is set within the noise module controls when a new value is sent out of the output. And another thing that makes the noise module within Kaivo unique is the ramp function. And basically when enabled, this adds some slew between the values as they update. The output is based off a combination of Gaussian distributions, which are fundamental kinds of distributions, not only in math, but in nature. And they are essentially the average of any kind of decision that is made multiple times, like a coin flip. If you'll notice here, the graph in the middle of the noise module, as I turn the width up, you can see it start to make a very similar shape. And what the shape in the noise module is telling us is the probability of the distribution at the output signal. So if I turn this all the way down to zero, you can see the output LED here is not blinking because nothing's happening. And you'll notice as I go from zero all the way to two, the blinking light at the output starts to increase in its brightness as I approach its maximum value. But this can all seem a little confusing, so why don't we hear this in action? So I like to think of the noise module like this. The center of the X axis here is basically zero. And to the right of that will be a positive voltage and to the left of it, a negative voltage. And so this means that the Y axis is the value of that positive or negative output voltage. But the fun doesn't stop there. You can see here we have the peaks plural. Now here is where it starts to get really fun and maybe a little complicated is we can increase the number of peaks. So now each new peak within here is its own individual distribution. So now let's turn the volume up again and then see how the sound changes as we increase the number of peaks and adjust the width of those peaks. Now the next control, the fall off, is going to add even more character to what we just listened to. And what this does is sets the maximum probability of each peak as they fall away from zero. So as I mentioned up top, one of the really unique things about the noise module is the ramp function. So let's take a listen to that. So without ramp enabled, we've got these really, you know, angular changes in values. But once we click this on, notice the difference.
And then we have the offset control, which sets the value of the central peak. So as I start to go up from zero, I bring that peak into the positive space within the X axis. And as I go left, I bring it into the negative space of the X axis. And then the final dial here is the output level control. So no matter what you have set within the noise module, this level output is basically going to be controlling the amplitude or strength of the signal being sent out. There's one more button here. We have the auto switch. When this is enabled, the noise module is just cycling on its own at whatever rate you have selected within the rate dial. So with that off, you can actually send a gate signal into the trigger to then get it to cycle. The final thing I want to talk about are the three inputs that allow you to use other modules or the noise module itself to control the offset rate and the level. So let's turn our volume up again and get this auto cycling. And now we are modulating the modulator, which is one of the greatest joys within Kaivo. All right, that's our video on the noise module within Kaivo. Stay tuned for upcoming videos on the envelope one and two. If you would like more information about Madrona Labs, please visit the link in the video description. Thanks for watching.